Hello there, my name is Plumby, and today I'm going to be bringing you all episode 2 of The Sims 3 Under the Whist Moon. Now, before we get into today's episode, I have no idea where Lilac's teeth have gone. Well, I think I kind of do. I installed a mod which basically is meant to make The Sims 3 Sims facial expressions less weird. I'm not sure if it's worked properly because basically since installing it, my Sims teeth have disappeared. I think maybe deleting it will fix this, but for now, Lilac is toothless. So I thought I would just point that out because I know someone's going to comment, where are Lilac's teeth gone? What happened to them? And I thought I'd just say that, but in the next episode, hopefully that mod is the cause root of the problem and I'll have it deleted and, you know, my Sims can have their teeth back. <laughs> Lilac is currently outside her house and that is because she actually found a letter on the floor today from a sim called Dusk and Dusk has kind of left her some information on where she lives and is kind of saying you know hey can you come meet me later I know you're a new person in town and I'd like to have a conversation with you so she's kind of thinking okay this is a bit odd you know this random sim has just left a like letter a message on the floor asking me to come over to the house later like it's a bit suspicious but I think by now Lilac has kind of you know picked up that Moonlight Falls isn't like every other town, so I think she's very, very curious to see who this person called Dusk is. I'm currently getting Lilac to clean up her breakfast dishes. Of course, I got her to, you know, wake up and take care of herself. I'm gonna get her to actually have a shower before she heads out, and then we're gonna make our way to the address that was put on this letter. And I think, you know, I'm a bit curious, I'm a bit scared, because, you know, it's just like a random sim. Like, who is this, you know? But either way, it's gonna be interesting to, you know, see who they are. It's also a leisure day today, so Lilac does have the whole day off, which is absolutely wonderful. But let's go ahead and get her to head on over to the address. So let's go ahead and get Lilac to get a taxi there now. Let's hope this is a worthwhile visit because it's cost us 20 simoleons to get the taxi here. So fingers crossed this will be worthwhile. And I can actually already see her in there. You may recognize her actually from the sim at the end of the episode, the end of last episode, the sim that did visit her house. That was her dropping off the letter. But let's go ahead and get Lilac to ring the doorbell. So I'm getting them to introduce themselves. It looks like the sim has come out and she's like, ah, oh, so I, I see you got my letter then. <laughs> I can imagine that Lilac is now asking what the, you know, letter was about. She's like, I got your letter this morning and I'm just wondering, you know, what you wanted to talk about and, you know, why you dropped that letter to me. And Dusk is going to say, you know, I heard that you were new in town and I thought it were important that I kind of drop by and kind of see what kind of sim is living there. Also, she's got her bird. <laughs> also, her blue bird? Is value 690 simoleons? Oh my gosh. Um, we may have to com contemplate selling him later on. <laughs> but for now, I'm going to go ahead and get her to probably just have a chat again and kind of be like, is there anything specific you wanted to say to me about, you know, me moving in? And I think that she's going to say back, well, I just want to let you know that this town is very, very close knit, okay? Everyone knows each other. Everyone looks out for each other here, all right? So if you're here to maybe poke fun at us supernaturals, anything of that sort, because you're not supernatural yourself, then please leave because you're not really welcome here if you're going to be like that because we care about each other here and we don't want anyone kind of getting in the way of that. And I think that Lilac is going to say, oh yeah, I, I'm actually not here to make fun of you. I'm actually here to, I think we're, I think we're going to get her to say to her, you know, tell story. You know, I'm actually here to learn more about my grandmother because, you know, not much is known about her, but I know that she's originally from here and I'm actually here hoping to maybe learn a little bit about her, about, you know, her past, because I, I never got to, never got to meet her. We've actually just learned, this is actually really good timing, we learned that Dusk is family orientated. I think that maybe kind of made Dusk kind of feel a bit more warm, warmer to Lilac, knowing that, you know, she's here for family reasons, because Dusk, as we've just found out, is a very family-driven sim, and as she said, you know, Moonlight Falls is a very close-knit community, you know, they take care of one another, so it makes sense for that reason. I'm not sure what just happened to the lights, <laughs> but I think she's gonna say, well, um, maybe I can ask around for you, you know, what's your surname? And I think, you know, Wistmoon, and she's like, huh, Wistmoon, I'll, you know, I'll ask, you know, some of my friends, some of my family, see if they're familiar with that. All right, since you're here to learn more about your grandmother, I'm gonna give you, cut you some slack. Um, my name's Dusk, Dusk Lunastar. You can, you know, come around and see me whenever you want. 
if you know want to know anything about me like yours. I think that went relatively well. <laughs> I think that Lilac is kind of thinking, okay, does the sim like me? Does the sim hate me? I'm very confused. Like, does she want me here? Does she not want me here? <laughs> Dusk is definitely giving off those like hot and cold kind of feelings, I suppose. And speaking of, I just noticed down here, attractive company. Ooh la la, I like it. Lilac has found a hot sim. She'll like to get to know better and and they actually just learned that Dusk is artistic and Lilac is also artistic and now I think they're gonna get along a lot more. Yeah, we've learned a bit about her and I think she's gonna say, well, I'd actually be really, really interested in, you know, knowing more about Moonlight Falls. So I don't know exactly how I feel about Dusk yet because as Lilac feels like, does she hate Lilac? Does she like Lilac? But either way, we'll definitely be seeing more of her and it's definitely good to know that we can have a helpful sim to kind of help us around Moonward. But it is beginning to get quite late now. So I do think I am going to go ahead and get her to say goodbye to Dusk. We've definitely got her number. And you know, I think I think there's some, some chemistry there. I mean, it, it does help that Lilac finds her attractive. But let's go ahead and I think I'm just gonna go ahead and get her to head home now as it is getting quite late. I'm now gonna go ahead though and get her to do some cleaning and then probably head to bed. I do assume she has work. She does have work tomorrow. Luckily though, it is a Friday, so she's only one more day of work before the weekend. For now though, I am gonna go ahead and get her to head to sleep. And as I always say, I'll be seeing you all when Lilac does wake up tomorrow. All right, everybody. So it is now the next day and Lilac did go to work. She's actually just a finished work and she's currently having a little chat with a plant. <laughs> I like to imagine that she does this every single day after work, it's like part of her routine. But I think that now my plan for her is to actually get her to give Dusk a call and kind of invite her out. I think that, you know, Lilac is going to take her off on that offer to kind of help her amount around speak around moonlight falls and i think that she's gonna say you know why don't we go ahead and meet up at the eerie midsummer festival <laughs> which sounds quite fun did we go there last time i know that we i think we did last episode either way i think i'm gonna go ahead and get her to head here oh i see dusk hello dusk are we gonna go we're gonna go say hello we're gonna go ahead and have a little conversation i think that I'm gonna go ahead and get her to, let's go ahead and actually ask about Dusk's sign first of all, like a little, I suppose, icebreaker. She's kind of gonna say, you know, what's your sign? So Dusk is a Taurus and those signs are actually compatible and they just became friends, which is awesome. I'm actually gonna go ahead and get a uh, Lilac to enthuse about the outdoors, but <laughs> it doesn't look like Dusk is into the outdoors as much as Lilac is, which is, which is okay. Let's go ahead and actually ask about career see what dusk is currently you know, doing and then we'll probably maybe get to know her a bit and i think that i am actually gonna go, going to imagine that lilac is gonna you know ask did you know anything about my grandmother and dusk is going to say actually yes i did ask around and your grandmother was a well-known person around here she's also gonna say actually my grandmother says she doesn't didn't know her very very well as your grandmother was quite a recluse <laughs> <laughs> but uh, she does know that she was actually into alchemy. So that is interesting. And I think that Lilac is like, I can't thank you enough for this. Like I have, that's, that's a lot I've always wondered about her. And just knowing that she was into alchemy, that's really made me feel very, very happy. And like, I'm on the right track. So that is awesome. And I think that Dusk is like, I'm happy to help. And hey, if you, you're may, if you're maybe interested in learning a bit about alchemy yourself, I know a place that we could go visit. So if you ever want to do that, I can totally take you there maybe tomorrow as it's the weekend. And I wouldn't imagine that you have work. So I think that's definitely something that these guys are going to do tomorrow. And is there a way we can like compliment express fondness yes i'm gonna definitely get um her to like express fondness you know and kind of say like, just thank you so much like i really appreciate you helping me out with my grandmother it is starting to get a bit dark so i'm not sure if there's anything else we can kind of do how it how is our girl feeling she is not feeling too tired actually she's feeling a bit hungry is there any uh like hot dog eating contest maybe actually instead we could buy some food here this is like a really lovely seating area like i would not mind having some dinner here so we're gonna go ahead and see what kind of food we have for sale and is it raining oh no it's starting to rain that's so irritating Ugh. but either way let's go ahead and order some food i'm gonna go ahead and just get her to maybe get some 
french fries they only cost eight simoleons and you know they're just like a, a mini dinner but i'm gonna say dusk is growing on me you guys dusk is definitely growing on me and i am looking forward to you know learning more about her and we already know a bit about her we know that she's family orientated and that he's artistic so she's actually quite a bit like lilac but i think you know her knowing that lilac's grandmother lived here and now knowing that lilac's grandmother was into alchemy she's definitely warming up a lot more to lilac but it seems as if they're grouping grouping <laughs> outing their group outing is ending so i am gonna go ahead and get lilac to make her way home now because it is starting to pour with rain when she gets home i probably am gonna go ahead and get her to head to bed so i of course will be seeing you all tomorrow when she does wake up and thank goodness it's the weekend that means no work and going to the elixir store which is going to be very very fun good morning everybody so it's now the next day and i am currently getting lilac to do some gardening i've gotten her to you know get dressed eat do some cleaning shower and now she is showering the plants <laughs> As I mentioned in the last episode, I do want us to like sell the things we grow eventually and that kind of be our main profession because as much as she enjoys, you know, working in the medical career, she definitely wants to do like, you know, selling the things she grows instead. She's, you know, she's very shy. She's definitely more of a homebody. So I definitely think that she does want to primarily, you know, just grow things and sell them. That's why I wanted to make her a fairy at first. But as you may have noticed, I have had a change of heart. Now, lots of you guys commented saying that you want her to be a fairy lots of you guys said that you want her to be a witch some people said you know you should make her a fairy and marry a witch some people said you should make her a witch and marry fairies <laughs> so there were lots of different options but i decided to settle on fairy and sorry witch in the end um or well, potentially witch you know it could change but for now witch kind of facing on like the alchemy thing because of her grandmother i kind of realized that that would make the most sense at least for the time being so for now she is going to be thinking about getting into alchemy of course today we are going to the elixir store so we're going to be beginning all of that shenanigans <laughs> i think it would still be fun if maybe we befriend a fairy you know we could befriend them they could move in with us and as she's doing some weeding it's actually reminding me of our bluebird who value is 690 simoleons i don't want to sell him though like i really don't want to sell him because he's the first little guy we caught and he, he has a special place in my heart so i think we're gonna keep him i know that sounds so silly because we need a car and stuff but like honestly i'm like attached to him now i'm genuinely attached to him now and she always gets him out as well so i think we are gonna go ahead and keep him and actually while she is doing some weeding talking about you know pets and the things that she she has caught we have to name this little guy right here you guys did leave some cute name suggestions so i'm gonna go ahead and name him now thank you to all the name suggestions but the one i am going to go for is flutter i think it's very very adorable that name was recommended and suggested by kitty ot SR. Thank you so much for recommending this name suggestion and thank you as well to everybody else who did leave name suggestions for our butterfly. I love Flutter. It's actually starting to rain just as she's weeding so I'm going to actually get her to stop doing that now and head on over to the Elixir store. So we're going to go ahead and do that now. I believe it is actually right next to Dusk's house. Off we go to the Elixir store which I keep calling the Alexa store. So if I call it the Alexa store you'll have to excuse me. I'm so sorry if I just turned on anyone's a l e x a as <laughs> we are here and oh i see dust let's go ahead and say hi <laughs> before they do get into a big conversation i'm gonna go ahead and get us to head inside so this is the inside and oh my gosh there's a fairy it's like the store assistant or the store owner hello whilst i kind of look around i'm gonna go ahead and get lilac to kind of say wow this place is so cool and kind of you know ask dusk about her day is there anything we can like buy do we does it work we can buy oh can we like practice oh, we can research alchemy this is like the go-to place for alchemy then this is perfect we can't even like afford like an alchemy thing yet because we're so poor this is perfect this is actually perfect so here we can browse we can buy all right so this actually brings me on to a very very helpful commenter i believe helen and a couple others let me know that we can actually become a witch by buying this elixir and basically we can buy it but it's apparently 2000 spoonies and it doesn't always show up apparently and I wonder if it's going to show up today. Yeah, it's not here. There are gardening books and stuff like that. But yeah, it's not here currently. So that was really good to know. But there's also the way that I kind of want to do it though is I kind of want her to get to level nine alchemy and like do it herself. I think she still hasn't fully thought herself that she wants to do alchemy yet so i'm gonna just get to research alchemy like she's definitely warming up to it knowing that her grandmother did alchemy and i think that you know dusk is definitely inspiring her but oh, 
wow, okay, this is so cool. This is definitely her first steps of kind of warming up to alchemy. I think this may be the route we're gonna take, but oh my gosh, look at this big book. Look at the big book. It reminds me of the big book from um, Hocus Pocus. This is so cool. Just seeing her kind of flicking through this big book. She's like probably thinking, I wonder if my grandmother ever read this book herself just as I am now. The weather for this is absolutely perfect as well. It's like rainy and it's getting dark and she has taken her first steps into the mystical, magical world of alchemy. There are lots of elixirs to create, each with their own unique power to to transform a sim's life. Those elixirs won't mix by themselves, so get cracking. That is exciting. I think we just learned a recipe for something. Yeah, a vial of bliss. So we're definitely gonna do that. <laughs> that is so exciting. We, oh, we can do it here. Okay, before we get her to do it, I think she's just gonna go ahead and say to Rose, I think oh, she's over here reading by the fire. That's so cute. I think I'm gonna go ahead and get her to kind of tell dusk you know i was doing some research on the alchemy then and i think i want to do it like i think i want to make an elixir and i think that dusk is gonna say i wasn't sure if i would share this with you yet because obviously you're a stranger but i am actually a witch so i'd be happy to help you and oh hello answer the phone very very rude this is a very important time for dawn she's telling alec that she's a witch this is <laughs> important <laughs> hopefully it's like actually something important and not just bring three vegetables Wow, I kind of blame myself. I feel like I summoned it. But anyway, we have to deliver very nice fruits and vegetables to Dusk. Dusk, you could have just told us instead of calling us about it anyway. Yeah, we'll do that one because it's Dusk. But yeah, I think Dusk probably told you I am actually a witch and I know a bit or two about alchemy. So I'd be really happy to help you. And I think she's like, I honestly think, Lilac, that this is a great path for you. Which is so exciting. And I think that Lilac feels really happy to kind of have this new friend who's a witch and who can you know help her out i think as well she does also feel quite happy that she's kind of she's felt as if she's won the approval of dusk i feel like dusk is the kind of person you know she's not gonna like you immediately like she's not gonna like you immediately like it takes her time to like you and you kind of have to you know win her respect she's not just gonna respect you for no reason it takes her time for her to kind of realize you know you are a good person you're one to be trusted and one to be admired and to be like respected i'm gonna go ahead and get her to give dusk a hug and kind of just say you know thank you once again and then i think we're gonna go ahead actually and create our first elixir which is so exciting so we're gonna go over here and we are going to mix an elixir which is gonna be so much fun all righty i'm so excited you guys so we're gonna go ahead and make a vial of bliss we need any food ingredient which luckily we have this is good this is good because we grow stuff don't we so this like makes me want to grow stuff even more because you know she grows stuff all the time she can use that to make elixirs and do alchemy i'm so excited i think you know going down the witchcraft route is definitely the route we should take for her but look at her making her first elixir okay, i've got to get my screenshots i feel like simmons are just so like insane with our screenshots i feel like in every other video game like no one really cares about screenshots but like simmons we're just completely unhinged we just always want to be taking photos of our sims but it's important because look she's learning the alchemy skill and oh i think that she's saying goodbye to her now i think dusk is gonna go but she's like you've got this okay this is a journey that you i will help you but you need to you need to do this on your own okay you got this i believe in you oh no wait are you gonna go instead she's kind of like looking out the window are you gonna just stay you're just so curious to see if it's like gonna go terribly wrong maybe she's like scab we're gonna set ourselves on fire which you know it is the sims so <gasps> I think I just saw her do something magical. Oh, maybe she's showing her. Wait, pause. I must imagine and pretend that she's like helping her. Maybe she's like showing her here. She's like, all right, I can help you with this. This ingredient's better than that ingredient. That would be so cute if we can imagine that she's, you know, giving her some tips and stuff. And we just made a vial of bliss. Oh, that is so exciting. Where is it? I must see it. Sims who drink this won't be bored or lonely anytime soon. They are actually both feeling quite hungry. So why don't we celebrate? celebrate sorry i can't speak i'm filming this at nearly 12 a.m i'm very very tired i'm just I, I like to film this series at night for some really weird reason they are feeling quite hungry so i'm gonna go ahead and get them to go to the diner we're gonna eat here with group to grab something to eat to celebrate this they've just finished their meal and i just thought of a thing i wish that when you got sims to go out to like restaurants they'd learn more about each other whilst in the restaurant and then i think she's gonna once again kind of say like i really appreciate you so much then i think after that i'm gonna go ahead and get her to head home <gasps> wait oh my gosh <laughs> does she have a broom we're just in like a taxi paying 20s and millions for a taxi this girl 
has a broom. Look at her. Oh my goodness gracious me. <laughs> so it is now the next day and it is currently the morning and I actually think I'm going to wrap up this part here because today is the full moon, the first day of autumn. So we're really getting into that spooky supernatural feeling. But I am going to go ahead and wrap up this episode here and save the full moon shenanigans for the next episode and I have a feeling that it's going to be a lot of chaos <laughs> so definitely keep your eye out for the next episode let me know your thoughts on today's episode in the comment section down below and per usual I'd like to say a big 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 thank you and shout out to my patrons over on patreon you guys really really help me with the channel by supporting me over on there so thank you so much and I want to quickly just say thank you to a random patron for this video the patron that i'm going to thank is anna thank you so much anna i really appreciate it and thank you as well to all my other patrons as i always say i hope you're taking care of yourself today and doing something that you love even if it's only for a minute or two i'm sending you lots of hugs hot chocolate tea coffee whichever you prefer and i hope you have a very very wonderful rest of your day